ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Steady, and today we're talking about some AMD uh, GPU news. It's about Navi, and oh boy guys, it's looking like it's going to be delayed. But before we talk about that, just want to tell you guys super quickly that uh, this video is sponsored by PriceBuy.co.nz. So if you're out and about in New Zealand, hey, you're going to a tech store, a, a retailer, maybe you're looking for a new GPU, maybe a new CPU, make sure you have the Price Buy app on your phone. Uh, that way you can easily compare prices. Make sure you get yourself a good deal. There's loads of other features as well, and it's just great to help you make the best consumer decision you can and save the most money. So today we're talking about Navi. This is the GPU, I would say, oh, for a long time, like people, there's just so much hype around it now that I honestly think that pretty much no matter what AMD brings out, people, like some people will still be disappointed, you know, this is like too much hype. So the Radeon 7s come out now. I haven't tested one. Uh, I asked AMD, didn't get a reply, and I've asked a few of the board partners and they don't have uh, any to sample me right now so uh and i can't afford to go out and buy one not that i can find one <laughs> so uh it's gonna be a little while before i get my hands on one it seems like but let's just say that it's been there have been mixed reviews it's been received sort of lukewarmly I'll put it that way. So a lot of people have been saying, well, where's Navi? That's what we're really, really waiting for. And from these latest leaks, it seems like it's gonna be quite a while away. So this is coming from WCCF Tech, but this has been reported widely by a lot of other different sites as well, that uh, it's only gonna be coming out in October or Q4 of this year, which isn't what a lot of people were hoping for it. They were hoping uh, like June or something, I think. Like Computex time was, I think, when a lot of people thought that it would be coming out, uh, which would be quite disappointing to, I think, a lot of people that were hoping uh, to upgrade to uh, to upgrade to Navi, hopefully, uh, at around that time. So, as the article goes, we'll just skip down a bit because the start just talks about other things. So while 7 nanometer Navi GPUs based Radeon RX graphics cards sound great, it looks like they would be delayed to Q4 2019. In a report published by Cal Kotland, their sources suggest that Navi GPUs will be available in October 2019 and not summer 2019 as originally planned. The reason behind this change is not mentioned, but it may be attributed to the 7 nanometer supply as the Radeon 7, a high-end chip, is already available in lower quantities than expected and is out of stock almost globally. And this is a very good point. If you're looking for a Radeon 7 right now, good luck. It doesn't matter where you live, it seems like no one can get their hands on them. No one that's actually wanting to buy a Radeon 7 can find one. Uh, so... I think it's that's going to be part of it. The, the article goes on to read, another reason could be that the Navi GPUs are also allegedly going to be featured in next-gen consoles, and AMD would want to dedicate a good chunk of supply for those before they ship the chips out to AIBs for production of desktop-based Radeon RX graphics cards. So that also makes sense. But overall, this is still... While it makes sense that... AMD's 7 nanometer supply issues would could cause this and also everything with the consoles. But it's still a major disappointment, I think, to a lot of people out there that, that wanted it. Because basically, the reality is, if this is true, is that we're just going to be having, in terms of the high-end market, the enthusiast graphics cards, you're really only going to have the choice in terms of NVIDIA or AMD with the Radeon 7 and the RX 2080. I know there's a 2080 Ti, but I mean in terms of two that are in competition with each other. So it's the Radeon 7 and 2080. 
uh, there's there's really nothing that goes from the AMD side anyway, which goes against the 2070 or, I mean, you can say the Radeon 7, but you know what I mean when we bring price into it and everything else, and the 2080 Ti as well. So right now, it's basically NVIDIA dominating the high-end market, which is, go figure, you know, they've been doing that for how long now, and AMD only having one card which competes with the 2080, both in performance and in price. Uh, it's having a bit of trouble now. Uh, the, the drivers, I think, are the biggest problem with the Radeon 7 right now, but so that should be fixed over time and it should get a lot better. Uh, but of course, it lacks a lot of features that the 2080 has, though it does have a huge amount of memory, which kind of makes up for it. So yeah, this is just disappointing. And I think that's basically what we've got to deal with now. So if you're someone who has been um, maybe sitting on their hands thinking about maybe buying a high-end graphics card, I would say unless you're willing to wait pretty much all of this year, you're just going to have to decide uh, either go for the 2070, if that's going to be powerful enough for you, which is powerful graphics card for sure, uh, or you're going to have to then decide 2080 or Radeon 7, you know, look at which one you think will be best for you. And, uh, and then make that choice. And unless you have tons and tons of money, then you'll go for something like the 2080 Ti. So that's gonna be the reality, it seems like, for 2019. Uh, I personally have the RTX 2080, and uh, I think, although it's not a very good value for money graphics card, it certainly is a very powerful graphics card. And I've been enjoying it so far. And uh, while DLSS uh, is only available in limited amounts right now, it has limited support, I should say, uh, in Final Fantasy 15, it's been fantastic for me. So I've been enjoying that side of it. But I want to throw it to you guys, like always. How does this make you feel? <laughs> is that the right? Is that the right way for me to put it? How does it make you feel that once again it's looking like Navi's been pushed further down the road? Um, are you still excited for it? Are you just frustrated right now? Hey, just let me know in that comment section down below. Let's have a conversation. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, this is coming from leaks, so hey, it, it may not be true, but uh, at this stage, it really wouldn't surprise me, and there's some pretty good reasons for why it, it seems like it could be true. But yeah, throw it to you guys, let me know what you think. Now, if you like this channel, if you like Tech Showdown, then hit that subscribe button, because it shows that you're uh, supporting me, and it makes me want to keep making more and more content for you guys. Uh, as I said earlier, PriceSpy.co.nz is the sponsor for this video. Links are in the description down below, so help those that help me. And I'll see you guys next time.